Leeds United have been ordered to pay former player Jean-Kevin Augustin £24.5 million in compensation after a FIFA hearing ruled that they were in breach of their contract with him. All this despite the player who was on loan in 2020 only playing three games for the club. Hello there everybody, Adam Cleary 442 and this is easily one of the most bizarre transfer stories of the season and one that's probably got implications for just the future of transfers in general. Now, if you are brand new to this, Jean-Kevin Augustin is a player who is currently at FC Basel having a perfectly okay season, but a few years ago, he was on loan at Leeds United while they were in the championship. They got him on loan from RB Leipzig for the second half of that season. Bielsa was apparently a massive fan of him, but just down to form and fitness and concerns over a matching Bielsa ball and the intensity it requires, he only managed three appearances, all of them as a substitute, and totaling about something like 48 minutes. He went back to Leipzig at the end of that season, and he's since played for Basel and now he's at nonce and the whole thing's been dragging on and on since then because of contracts and legality and wordings and how just messy the whole thing proved to be. You see, the problem with this all was that Leeds had already agreed a transfer fee with Leipzig and it wasn't an option to buy, it was an obligation to buy should they secure a promotion from the Championship to the Premier League, which of course they did. But during that loan spell, two major things happened. The first was that Leeds had some major concerns over his fitness. Now, there's an entire other story in this about how he's got some long-term problems that he's actually done really well to sort of battle back from across the rest of his career. But at the time, he just wasn't a good fit for the really high intensity, like blood and thunder football Bielsa wanted to play. And Bielsa himself did actually say that if they could get him up to those levels, he'd be worth something like 40 million pounds. But for several reasons, he just couldn't. So they weren't too hot on keeping him. And the uh, second major thing that happened that season was... COVID-19. Don't know if you remember that. Now, there were, of course, several major, long-standing, forever implications to that all happening that season, which I'm not going to be getting into now because I still haven't got the taste or the smell of sourdough out of my brain. But one thing it gave Leeds, they thought, was an excuse to not fulfill their obligation to buy it. The loophole they wanted to use was the wording in the contract. Because it was an obligation, it basically said that if by this date, the end of the season, they had got promoted, they would have to pay the full fee and the contract they'd negotiated. But because the season was forced to run for months after it would have normally ended, Leeds basically looked at that and said, look, we said we would buy him by this date if we'd gone up, and we hadn't gone up by that date, so we don't have to buy him. This led to all sorts of legal wrangling between Leipzig and Leeds, because Leipzig were understandably like, come on, like, don't be a dick about this. You know exactly what that meant, and just because the date was wrong doesn't mean nobody could have predicted that, etc, etc. FIFA ruled in their favour and ordered Leeds to pay the full £18 million. Leeds tried appealing it and all sorts, and in the end, they came to this sort of amicable agreement agreement with Leipzig to pay something like 15 million in the end. They managed to get a bit of money off it, but ultimately they were forced to pay that transfer fee. And of course, because FIFA had decided that that contract was legally binding and Leeds were going to be forced to pay the club, that also invited the question of, well, you'd agreed a five-year, £90,000 a week contract with the player. Should you not technically have to pay that as well? And the news that broke last night was that, yes, they do have to pay that legally binding five-year, £90,000 a week contract, which comes roughly to about £24.5 million. Pounds. Now, Leeds have obviously appealed this decision. There are one or two more things they can do about that, but it looks fairly sure that they're going to have to pay at least something approaching that to the player as a result of this. And if they don't manage to get out of it, that means they're going to have paid something in the region of £40 million for a player who made three appearances for them total. That's something like £13 million a game, or given that it was only sub-appearances, like... £810,000 a minute. Now, I will leave it to Leeds United fans to tell you what this does for their opinion of Victor Orta, the club's sporting director, who's obviously right at the very heart of this. He's already under scrutiny for overpaying for transfers. Doi on this one, not sacking Jesse Marsh, what was perceived to be a good time to do so, and then the club's search to bring in Javi Garcia. Add to this the news that the Premier League have apparently removed them from a forthcoming tier of the US, because by that point, they haven't really got any confidence they'll even be a Premier League team, and the fact they just got beat 5 one off Crystal Palace in a alleged relegation six-pointer, and it's not been a good week for the club. But still, £40 million for a player you got three sub-appearances from in the Championship. That will have to go down as one of the worst bits of business in footballing history. 
Maybe? Anyway, it's almost certainly going to have implications for loan deals in general because now that this has been ruled in the favour of the selling club and the player, clubs trying to bring in loans will obviously be more wary about things going slightly wrong. Anyway, though, let me know what you make of all of this in the comments below. Did Leeds have this coming? Should they absolutely be paying this money or is it just one of the just silly decisions you get out of court in hearings like this? All opinions welcome. Please let me know. In the meantime, though, thank you so much for watching. I've, of course, been Adam Cleary. This has been 442. Please do hit the subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.